Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the Atom V2 build using the HGLRC F4 Zeus uh, all-in-one FC board. And what you're seeing me do right here is I'm drilling out the 20 by 20 mounting pattern onto the uh, Atom V2 frame. And what I'm using is the Joppalura, which already was pre-drilled for 20 by 20 um, and sandwiched the two together is, is how I did it. Use the, the Joppalura frame as a template. All right, so I'm back here with the build. Um, this is the Atom V2 build using the HGLRC Zeus and the TX20 VTX. Um, the noise you hear in the background is I'm charging batteries here for tomorrow's run. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, I, I did It did shave a lot of weight from what I had in here before. Um, it shaved probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 grams. So this is how it's going to go together. I had to modify the frame, as you've seen in the previous videos, because the, the Atom V2 is not made for a 20 by 20. It's made for a full-size board. So I had to drill it out um, and then fit the stack in here. I also shrunk the stack down so that it would fit in here um, with the... Uh, I, I should have got the R version of this, but I didn't. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than I, I really wanted in here. I could shave two grams if I got the smaller one. And I do have two of them on the way, but I want to get this thing built and fl flown, so... So what I did to shrink the stack down is I just used uh, fuel tubing. I just used um, RC fuel tubing for RC planes um, on the bottom here. Put a screw through the bottom and then the small standoffs. I also cut the standoffs down to this here. And basically I just took um, this Dremel tool, which I got from Snap-on back in 1990. <laughs> So it's it's quite old and but it's it's been a good tool, and I just uh, I just took a, a saw blade off is what I did. I just took a blade right off, and made them a little bit smaller. I also turned the stack the uh, VTX at an angle here, and and the reason I did that is because I don't want too much of this antenna sticking out the back. That's how the previous board got ruined is it kept ripping off the um, it kept branches kept getting stuck right here at this lip. And ripping the whole antenna off on my um, on my older version of this board here, and finally after the fourth time, it finally took out the um, OSD chip, I believe. So I, I don't want this to stick out too much, so I just turned it at an angle. Plus, it's kind of nice to have it at an angle because it squishes it down even further. And also, I have the the VTX selection button in the back, so that's kind of nice. So I just wanted to do a dry fit, make sure everything fits, and then I'm going to go ahead and solder all the pads up that I'm going to use, and I'll show you when I'm doing that, and I'll speed up the video and stuff so it's not too too boring. Okay, and then also for soldering, um, I'm just using the 898D Plus uh, soldering station. You can get them on eBay. They're like about 60 bucks. I have an $800 weller at work uh, for doing professional work but here at home you don't need something like that this uh 898 d plus has been great i've had it for about two years now and it performs well it does everything i need it to do and it's voltage or uh, temperature selective so i like that so i just thought i'd add that in for those that don't have a, a soldering station that's the one i have there's many of them out there but that's the one i have Okay, so I'm pre-tuning all the parts. Um, that What I was just doing right there, that was for the uh, camera leads, the camera connector. And also the um, capacitor, which I highly recommend you use if you're using high KV uh, motors. The battery leads, there's holes that are provided into the Zeus board. And I suggest you actually use those, run the wire down through the holes, and then make your solder joint. It's just it's a lot more of a uh, secure connection, whereas if you just soldered straight to the um, the pads, you could actually risk lifting the pads up off the board in, in an accident. Um, I have my soldering iron set to 450 
Celsius, and I'm using a 6337 solder because it flows real nice, as you can see here. So I'm just I'm just pre-tinning everything that I'm going to connect later on. And then attaching, of course, the, the capacitor. And now the, the camera plug. Everything is really nicely laid out on the board. It's, it's actually really easy. It's a lot easier to solder than I thought it was going to be. Um, because, you know, as you can see, everything's just right around the edges. So you're not having to get in there with a soldering iron in the middle of the board or anything like that. It's, it's really nice. Very quick. And then these are, the, this is the plug for the um, RX, for the radio receiver. And I hate this plastic wire that, that FR Sky has used on this. Um, the plastic wire is just cheap crap. And the problem with it is if, as you solder it, of course, the uh, conductor, the, the plastic starts to melt. And not only that, the wire is just super brittle. So even vibrations, I mean, not just crashes, but vibrations can cause these connection ends to just the wire just to break right off. Uh, very brittle and just horrible stuff. So that concludes this video for part one of the Atom V2 um, using the HDLRC F4 Zeus. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below um, or give me a thumbs up. So stay tuned for uh, part two here, here in a couple days. Thank you very much for watching.